On the evening of December 16, 1773, a crowd of as many as 250 men marched double file to Griffin's Wharf. There, they ordered watches and other crew of the Dartmouth, Eleanor, and Beaver away before dumping 342 chests of tea in the ship's holds into Boston Harbor. The destruction of the tea, called the Boston Tea Party today, was executed primarily by traders, artisans, and craftsmen. These men, familiar with manual labor, destroyed the tea efficiently and methodically over the course of two to three hours. They took great pains not to damage the ships themselves, which were owned by locals unaffiliated with the East India Company. The event marked a point of no return for relations between the colonies and the mother country. British Parliament would soon punish Massachusetts with the coercive acts, including installing a military governor and soldiers occupying the town of Boston. Rather than tempering the patriots, it radicalized many on the fence. Within 17 months, there would be war. This Day in History brought to you by the Freedom Trail Foundation and WBUR 90.9 FM, Boston's NPR station.